Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to build a customer support chatbot with the OpenAI Assistance API. The Assistance API was released on OpenAI's first ever dev day. I'll show you an example in both Python and Node.js. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Now, let's get to the point. As we already said in the second OpenAI tutorial, prior to the OpenAI's dev day, the Assistance API did not exist at all. As the name says, Assistance, a PI is meant to build an assistant within your own application. It takes OpenAI models to the next level by using different tools. At the moment, the Assistance API supports three types of tools. Code interpreter, knowledge retrieval, and function calling. It's important to mention that it's still in beta, meaning that OpenAI will add more tools in the future. I took this customer support chatbot example from the official OpenAI documentation. While the documentation walks you through the example step by step, the most vital part of the code was not covered in the documentation, and I spent some time figuring it out. I'll show you what I mean. So let's look at the code. If we break the code down, there are basically seven steps. I would point out step one, step two, and step six. In short, step one is an additional step we didn't need to take when we built a personal math tutor in the second OpenAI tutorial to build a customer support chatbot. We also need to upload a file that will serve as our knowledge base. Step two is where all the magic happens, while step six is the trickiest part, where OpenAI documentation is still the weakest. It's not any better than it was when we were building a personal math tutor in the second OpenAI tutorial. But hey, OpenAI is not here to code for us. They give us tools that we need to figure out how to use efficiently. Now, let's go through the code step by step. Step one, upload a file with an assistance purpose. This is an additional step that we didn't need to do when we were building a personal math tutor. We just gave an instruction to our assistant that it should write and run Python code to answer our math questions. While here, we want to make a customer support chatbot that is able to answer questions from customers. To be able to do so, we need to provide it with some knowledge, right? We provide knowledge to our chatbot by uploading a file. It's important which file format we use because the knowledge retrieval tool doesn't support all file types. As you can see here, the code interpreter tool that we used while we were building a personal math tutor accepts a lot of different file formats. While the knowledge retrieval tool that we will use today supports a smaller number of file formats, let's say we use a text file. If we open up this file, you can see that inside there is some basic imaginary text about products, orders, returns, promotions, and contact information. So let's pretend we are an online store selling books. We offer two types of shipping. Customers can return a book after one week from the date of purchase. Currently, we are also offering a 20% discount. Customer support is available through this chatbot. Step two, create an assistant. This is what the assistance API is all about. This is where all the magic happens. In this tutorial, we want the assistance API to answer questions from customers. See, this is why the assistance API is called this way. Basically, the assistant assists the open AI model, in this case, by answering questions from customers. The open AI model, by default, cannot do that. As we mentioned earlier, knowledge retrieval is one of the tools that the Assistance API currently supports. We provide the tool we want to use by setting the tool's parameter. Knowledge retrieval is the most suitable tool to use in order to build a customer support chatbot, so we want to use this one. Also, regarding the model, it's very important to mention that the knowledge retrieval tool requires the GP4-1106 reviewer GPT. 3.5. Turbo. 1106 model. No other model will work. Choose one of these two. Step three, create a thread. There's not much to say about that. A thread is needed because the assistant will append messages to it when we chat with our customer support chatbot. Step four, add a message to a thread. This is where we ask an open AI model about our online store. Let's say we want to know what we can buy in this online store. There's an important parameter here named file of these. This is where we append the file that we uploaded in the first step. So uploading a file in the first step is not enough. If we don't 
append the file to our messages, the chatbot will not be able to use it when answering questions. Step 5. Run the assistant. The instructions parameter is not required, but it can be fun, and the application will feel more personal if, for example, the OpenAI model addresses the user with their name and surname. Step 6. Periodically retrieve the run to check on its status to see if it has moved to completed. This is the trickiest part. To get the assistant's answer to our question, we need to wait for the assistant to access the file and search for the answer. But how do we know when the assistant is done and has an answer? Well, we need to code a loop and periodically check for run status. While the assistant is still working on answering our question, the run status will be in progress. When the assistant is done, the run status will change to completed. Then we can proceed to the next step. One thing I should mention here is that this part of the code is a bit more complex than it was in the second open AI tutorial. I got a comment under the second tutorial that my code had an issue only checking for the in progress and completed status. But if you take a look at the open AI documentation, you'll see that there are other statuses as well. For example, the most common would probably be failed status, and I didn't handle it. Meaning that if anything goes wrong while the assistant is trying to answer our question, the loop will go on forever. You might say, so what? The problem is that you would pay for all these API calls just because some status was not handled and the loop didn't break. So I immediately fixed the code for the second tutorial, and here I use the same code where all statuses, not just in progress and completed, are handled properly. Step 7. Retrieve the messages added by the assistant to the thread. Simply retrieve the assistant's answer from the thread's message list. Of course, we can do that after the status is changed to completed. Now let's run the Python example. I will blur a lot of output here because it might contain some private data, which I don't want to expose. To be honest, I didn't check, so I'll just blurt it all. Anyway, these prints are not the point of this tutorial. The point is the thing down there. You can see that the chatbot answered our question successfully. Now, let's run the Node.js example. As I said, it follows the same logic as the Python example. Ta-da! Pretty amazing. Hmm? That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.